All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strength and Balance on this uh, Thursday morning. This morning, we are going to use a little bit of weight. Not a lot of weight, um, so we're mostly for, uh, let's see, for chest press and some shoulder. So if you have shoulder issues, issues, um, you don't have to use weights, we can. Um, if you don't have uh, hand weights, you can use always some soup cans or something with a little uh, substance, a little uh, weight to it. So without further ado, we're going to start uh, up on our feet. We'll do first half of the class on our feet, then we'll move down and stay down today, unlike uh, Tuesday where we were up and down and up and down. So let me turn the music on. I did turn it a little bit lower than what it was on Tuesday. So hopefully, uh, before we start, give me a thumbs up if the volume's okay. Uh, hold on, let me, the volume's okay? Okay. All right, hopefully we will not have any issues with the microphone today and let's rock and roll. All right, shoulder rolls, big circles, left and right arm. So like I was saying, we are using some weights today. We really want to make sure that we warm up the shoulders really well. We're pressing. Let's do one more each side. Then we'll stay on the right right or left. I don't know, this side. Whatever side it looks like. Stay on one side and then we'll switch to the other. And now the opposite side. Last one, and now a soft bend in the knee, and we'll bring one arm forward, one arm back for your swimmers. Keep going. And open up those arms, palms facing forward. Bring your hands back a little bit farther than the center of the body. So we want to drop the shoulders down, squeeze the shoulder blades, open up that chest. Then bring one arm in front and give yourself a hug. And then open up, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest. And then the opposite arm comes on top, give yourself a hug. We'll alternate between these two. One more, then let's reach your arms overhead. When we reach, we want to shift our weight, reach that arm nice and long, try to get a full extension. Let's do one more each side and then we can reach across and we know to pivot on that back toe, twist through the hips, wake up that midsection and the opposite side. Make sure we stand up nice and tall. One more each side, then 
we'll go all the way around. So two overhead, shift the weight, and two across, pivot on that back toe. Two overhead, and two across. One more time all the way around. And let's get right into your heels to the front. So alternate, drive one heel down. You can shock the arm. And from here, we're going to change it to little kicks. So we're going to balance and a little kick forward, little kick forward. So we're going to balance here on that standing leg. Keep the kicks low. Let's do one more per side. Then we'll take those toes and tap them back and back. Again, we want to keep our weight on that standing leg and just tap the foot back. One more each side. Then we'll get right into your butt kick. So a little hinge forward as we bring a heel up to the butt. Knees stay down towards the floor. Shift your weight when you have this. You can drive those elbows back. One more each side, and then we'll balance here on one side. Soft bend in the knee, heel and toe on the opposite. I'll try not to say left and right. So that heel comes forward and toes back. Heel forward, toes back. Abdomen stays nice and tight. We want a straight line from that stationary heel, ankle, hip, shoulder, ear. Everything's up, shoulders down and back. And let's go with you to the other side. Heel and toe. And release up on those toes for your calf raises. And back down, keeping your abdomen nice and tight. We're going for 10. When you finish your 10, I'd like you to grab your weights, please. We would also, I would also like you to grab a chair. We will do some sit, sit to stands, but not yet. So light weights, we don't need them yet because we are going to go over form first. So we are going to start without any weights in hands, shoulders down, abdomen is tight, a soft bend in the knee, alternating front raise. So what we are looking for is a straight arm. The wrist is straight. So we wanna make sure that the weight doesn't hang low. So if you have a soup can or whatever you're using, a weight, a free weight, we wanna make sure that that wrist is nice and straight out through the knuckles. Shoulders are down and back and down, then the other side. So we wanna stop right at shoulder height. Let's do a couple here, shoulders down, make sure we don't shrug. We wanna keep the shoulders down as we lift the arms up. If you feel comfortable here, 
no pain in the shoulders, we can then grab our weights. We are going to do alternate, but we'll do 10 per side. So that will be 20 total. Shoulders down. When you're ready, weights or no weights, let's begin. So that's one, one, two, two, straight arm, three, three, four, four, five, five, half leg, six, six, keep your core tight, seven, seven, Eight, nine, nine, one more each side, and you can release. So we are going to release those weights down. We are going to get into your sit to stand. So I'd like you to sit on the edge of your chair or your bench. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Abdomen is tight. We are going to stand up, then sit back down. 10 times. Keeping that core tight, we're pressing up right through the heel, stand up, and then sit back down. That's one. Two, push your butt back. That's three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and that's lucky number 10. We are going to go through that sequence again. So I'd like you to be mindful of the shoulders, see how you feel with the weights. We are going to go right back into those alternating front raises. We are shooting for 10 per side again. So when you're ready, you can pick up your weights, shoulders down, and begin. So that's one, and one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Seven, seven, keep your core tight. Eight, eight, nine, nine. Last one on each side. You can release and we will go back into those sit to stance. So each time we go through, I want you to pay attention to your body. We are going to do a third set. So I want you to be mindful how your knees, how your hips are feeling, right? We wanna focus on form. If you're starting to feel pain, I'd rather you do two perfect sit to stands than 10 and get sloppy, all right? So remember the numbers are just a guideline. So whoops, <laughs> timber. So we're gonna sit on down. 10 more sit to stands, abdomen is tight. Stand up and down, that's one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. That is ten. So we are going through that sequence one last time. If you're feeling it in the shoulders, again, do less. If you're feeling strong and you can do more, you can do more, but I'd rather you go really slow and then see how that feels if you go extra slow. All right, alternating front raises for your last time today. Shoulders down, abdomen is tight, grab your weights. Let's begin. One, and one, two, two, 
three, three, four, four, five, Seven, seven, keep going, eight. Oh, my mic fell. Can you hear me? Nine, nine, last one, each side. You can release, and we're gonna go back down to those bits of band. Last set of 10. Abdomen is tight, shoulders down and back, Last set must be perfect. If you start to get sloppy, I want you to quit early or take a long break and then get back into it. Last set, stand up and down, that's one. Two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. You can release. So we are going to move the chair out of the way. And we will get back into your calf raises for 10. So up on the toes and down, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine, one more, and 10. Now I'm gonna keep my weights on the floor if you want because we need them when we come down to the mat but we are going to go into your balance walk. So just be mindful as to where your weights are. So when we move around the room, I don't want you to trip on the weights. So your balance walk, I'm going to like normal use the perimeter of my mat to balance. If you have a line on the floor, maybe a line in the carpet or uh, on a rug, something along those lines that you can follow, that would be great. It needs to be a straight line I don't have a straight line, so I'm using the edge of my mat. So our feet are going to touch. So I'm gonna place one foot in the center of that line. Then the opposite foot is going to come in front. My heel will touch my toe. Then the opposite heel will touch the toe. We wanna keep the shoulders down, abdomen nice and tight. Squeeze the midsection. Focus on posture, so we don't want to sit here like this and stare at the floor. We can use our eyes to glance down, but I want you to focus on pulling the shoulder down and back. Keeping your core tight. Focus on balance. Again, watch out for your weights. I'm eyeballing my weights so I know where they are, so I will not trip. I made one lap around my mat. I'm going to take a second. Then we can go the opposite direction. If you are going in a circle, go the opposite direction. If you're going in a straight line, just spin around and go back. All right, when you are ready. Posture. Again, watch out for those weights. And when you complete it, you can release. 
We are going to make our way down to the floor on your back. Make sure you have your weights near you if you want to use weights to press. If you would like water, come on, uh, grab some water or bring it down to the floor with you. We will stay down on the floor for the remainder of class. When we are on the floor, we want to bend both knees, feet flat on the floor, pelvic tilt, core is tight. From here, we will be going into your chest press. So without weight, I would like you to focus on that chest press position. So let's bring our elbows out. Now, we don't, want, we don't want the elbows out at 90 degrees, and we also don't want the elbows by the side. We want about halfway in between, so about 45 degrees. Okay, so we want those elbows at about 45 degrees. From here, we don't want to rest the wrist on our, on our body. We want the wrist in line with the elbow. And the wrist is also angled about 45 degrees if I was to open up my palm. Pelvic tilt. Now from here, you want to drop the shoulders down. Shoulder blades are down towards the floor. So even though we're pressing up towards the ceiling, you want to squeeze the back and press the shoulder blades down to the floor. So you're trying to get the shoulders back down, the blades are squished to the floor. Core is nice and tight, and then we are coming straight up, punching the ceiling, and back down. It might feel a little awkward when you're trying to press the shoulder blades down as you press the arms up, but that is the proper chest press position, so please work on it. If that felt fine with no weight, we are going to grab both weights same form, abdomen is tight. We are chest pressing for 10 together, please. So press straight up and back down. That is one. Up and down, that's two. Now make sure you control the weights as they come back down. That's three. We don't wanna just let the weight fall down. And four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. So you can release one arm. I'm going to release my left arm. So that weight's going to come down. My arm's going to come down by my side. My right arm is going to stay exactly how it was. Strong pelvic tilt and we will do 10 on the right arm only. So what you're going to have to do is brace your core, keep your core tight, and on the right you might have to stabilize a little more as we press straight up with that single arm and back down. That's one. Take your time. Control. And two. It's a little more awkward with one arm rather than two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more on the right, and you can release that weight down. Same thing on the opposite side. So pick up that uh, weight for the left arm or the opposite arm. Form first, so bring the elbow out at 45 degrees. Press the shoulder blades down, pelvic tilt, and then punch up towards the ceiling. And back down, that's one. Keep a nice straight wrist. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more on the left. That is lucky. 
repeat number 10. Now pick up the weight for the right arm. We are going to do 10 together. So together we are pressing both weights up again for 10. So press up and down. That's one, two, three, four, And that's 10. You can release the weights down, pull both knees into your chest, hug your knees in and rock side to side. Now remember that sequence because we will come back to it. But we are going down to that lower body for your bridges first. We are going to return both feet down to the floor. Pelvic tilt, abdomen is tight. We are going to do 10 bridges Squeeze. So pelvic tilt, exhale, lift the hips up, squeeze at the top, and back on down. That's one. Up, squeeze, and down. That's two. Three. Four. Make sure you hold that pelvic tilt. Last one. That is 10. Now take that left ankle, place it over right knee. And we are going to do 10 single leg bridges on the right. So here we want that left ankle to cross over right knee. Left knee falls open to the left. Hips stay square pelvic tilt. Now if 10 is impossible for you to do today, I want you to do as many as you can with that perfect form. Abdomen is tight as we lift the hips up and squeeze, and then back down, that's one. Two. Three. Four. And that's 10. Uncross. Now we will take that right ankle, place it on top of left knee. Let that right knee fall open to the right. Hips are square. We'll do 10 on this side, please. Hips up, squeeze, and down. That's one. Two. Great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can release and uncross back into 10 bridges, both feet on the floor, abdomen is tight, and exhale up and squeeze, squeeze at the top, and slowly lower down, that's one, two, three, 
great. Four. Five. Six. Seven. nine and that's ten you can release pull both knees in towards your chest hug them in rock side to side we are going to go back into those chest presses this time we will switch it to that neutral grip chest press so place your feet down on the floor Again, that strong pelvic tilt. Pick up both weights, but this time we will bring both elbows in towards your side. Drop the shoulders down, palms facing each other. Again, the wrist must stay in line with your elbow. Pelvic tilt. Ten as we press straight up and down. That is one. And two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, that's ten. This time I'm going to have you release that right arm down, right weight down, shoulder down, abdomen is tight, single arm, neutral grip, chest press on the left for 10. Let's begin. Press straight up and down. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one on the left. You can release that weight down. Same thing on the right. And press straight up and down. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. That is now we are going to do both arms, last set of 10, then we'll give the arms a little bit of a break. We are pressing both arms up towards the ceiling and back down. That is one, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and that is ten. You can release the weights down, push the weights aside because we are done with the weights for today. Pull both knees in towards your chest, hug them in, rock side to side. From here, bring both arms out at shoulder height, drop the knees to the right. Make sure that left shoulder stays down on the floor, head turns to the left, then slowly bring the knees over to the left and head turns to the right. When the knees are to the left, make sure that right shoulder stays down and head turns to the right. 
So we are going to go slow and controlled back and forth here. Let's do one more each side. going to have you roll to your left side, roll to the left, and we are going to go right into your clamshell. So roll to the left, hips are square, shoulders are square, abdomen is tight. From here we are going to bend the knees, feet are stacked, knees are stacked, and lift that right knee up, then slowly bring it back on down, keeping that core nice and tight. We want to make sure that we don't roll back. That was one. We are going for 10. That's two. Three. Four. Eight, nine, that's ten. You can release and roll over to the opposite side. Same thing on the right. On the right side. Hips are square, knees are stacked, feet are stacked, abdomen is tight, lift that left knee up and bring it back down, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Eight, nine, one more. That is ten. You can release and roll forward into child's pose. So hips over heels, child's pose. When you're in that child's pose, you want your butt down on the floor. But it's important that we don't ground. We want to lift the chest up with your butt down. Then we are going to come up into that tabletop position for your bird dog. We will do 10 dynamic bird dogs per side. So your wrist will be in line with your shoulder. Knees in line with hips, tuck the toes. Right arm will be forward, palm face in. Left leg is long, flex the foot, press out through the heel. Hips and shoulders are square. Then bring the knee and elbow towards the center and then extend long. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release, reset. Same thing on the opposite side. Left arm forward, right leg long, flex that foot, then bring the knee and elbow into center and extend long, that's one. Two. Three. 
Okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Release, you can push back into your child's pose, butt back over your heels. And I'm going to grab my timer so we can do a one minute low plank. One minute low plank. So forearms will be parallel. Abdomen is tight, hips are square, shoulders are square, pulling the belly button up towards your spine, shoulders down. Are we ready? Let's come up and hold one minute plank. So your forearms are parallel. Elbows are in line with the shoulders. So make sure the same distance between the shoulder, there is between the elbows. We don't want them too close in or too far apart. Then we want to make sure the shoulders are square. Belly button is up towards your spine. Make sure the butt's not up. We want to tuck the tail. Make sure your hips are square. Make sure you have a neutral bend in the neck. We don't want to look down towards the toes. Make sure you keep breathing. We have 15 more seconds to go. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and release. Push on back into your child's pose. Push your butt back over your heels. From here, you can walk your hands over to the left and hold. Make sure your butt is down. Make sure your head is between the straight arms. Press your right hand firmly down on the floor. Now walk your hands over to the right. Again, your arms are straight. Head is between the arms. Ears by your bicep. Press your left hand firmly down on the ground. You should feel this down the left side of your back. center and hold. Come up into that tabletop position, hands and knees, and we will go right into that cat cow. So tuck your chin, tuck the tail. Lift the chin and lift the tail. Take your time exaggerate each movement And come on down flat on your stomach. 
bring the elbows back next to the chest. Hips stay down, chest comes up right up into that cobra. We can release down, take a deep breath, and then exhale and come back on up. Try to get a little deeper in that cobra. And release on down. You can roll over to your right side. Make a straight line with your body here on the right. And when you're ready, reach for that left uh, left ankle and pull the left heel back towards your butt for your quadricep stretch. If you need a better stretch, you can roll forward, rest your head down on that right hand and keep pulling that heel to your butt. And release same thing on the opposite side so you can roll to the left or you can just reach for that right ankle if you're on your stomach And release. You can roll to your back. On your back, extend both legs long. Both arms are long. Reach in opposite directions. Settle into the floor. Realign the spine. Then pull your right knee in towards your chest, hug the right knee in and circle that right foot in one direction. Same foot, opposite direction. And release. Let that right knee uh, foot fall to the floor. Then let that right knee fall to the floor. Open up the hips here and hold. Then bring that knee back to center. Pull it in and straighten out that right leg. The bottom of that right foot will come up towards the ceiling for that hamstring stretch on the right. And release, bend that knee, extend that leg long. Pull your left knee in towards your chest, circle that left foot in one direction. Same foot, opposite direction.
and release that left foot down to the floor. So let that left knee fall to the left, open up the hip. Then bring your knee back up to center. Pull the knee in. And then extend that foot up towards the ceiling. Hamstring stretch on the left. Bend both knees, take that right ankle, place it on top of left knee, let that right knee fall open to the right, then reach behind that left knee and pull the left knee in towards your chest. Well, I think my uh, internet crapped out, but we're back. We're back. Um. All right, so we're on our back. Pulling that left knee in towards your chest. And we can switch sides. So cross that right uh, left ankle over right knee. And when you're ready, reach behind that right knee and pull the right knee in towards your chest. And release, sit up, extend both legs long. You can start off with your hands behind the back. When you're ready, you can walk your hands forward. Now make sure we don't round. We wanna keep the shoulders down and back and lead with your chest as we reach forward. And release, slowly roll up. Take your time, we're going to come up to your feet, come up to standing. Watch out for the weights if your weights are still on the floor. When you are standing and ready, just start rolling the shoulders back. Try to get as much range of motion that you can here in those shoulders. Then bring those arms out at shoulder height, palms up towards the ceiling, drop the shoulders down, push the thumbs back, open the chest. Then take that left arm or right arm, one arm, up, bend at the elbow, hand comes behind the head. We're pulling that elbow back so we feel this stretch down the tricep. We did a lot of those presses. Okay. 
other side. And release. Roll your shoulders back, keep them down and back. Take your head, look to the one side, drop your chin. You should feel it down the side of your neck. Keep the shoulders down and back. Then to the opposite side. Back to center, take that arm, drop the shoulder, bring the arm across, take the opposite arm underneath and pull it in so we feel that in the back of the shoulder. And release, same thing on the opposite side, drop the shoulder down, arms out long, bring that arm across the body and pull it in. Roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. Last one. Good job, everybody. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties.